Here we are folks, as you know well now, I have secured these risers up so far as here. Now what I've done this evening, I'm not sure if you can quite see it, right here, is I have added the sloped bit by here which will rise another inch just to the corner by here. I have stuck this piece down along by here. But I'm going to leave the glue go off now for the time being and I'm going to put a curve in the piece along with there. Then I'm going to fix these other risers we had together as well as the taper pieces and along here as well. By the way they're all by Woodland Scenics. And then I'm going to raise it up to where you see this, this frame by here. Now this frame is an artist canvas. It is about 80 centimetres long and it's about 30, 32 centimetres wide. Now I shall show you what I'm going to do with that in a minute. Now then, I just put these temporary along here for the time being. Now I might well put a good bridge by here on the end. Now this is a rough idea where this is going to come. Now then, as you may well see, I've got a couple of buttons here and a couple of T-hinges. Now, I'm not quite sure if you can see along the wall by here. I have put a pencil line along it and that is level with the board, what you see in the far distance, down the furthest end of the room. Now, what I plan to do here is fix the buttons to the wall to the height where you see by here I marked it all the way down now where you see the artist canvas by here I can fix that on top of the buttons and where I have the hinges by here I can drop the T pieces behind the back of the buttons against the wall then I can use these hinges which will rest on here and the canvas will go on the top and then I can use it as a slider board and in the far distance where you see down there I can use that board down there as a storage area and at the moment I put five small pieces of track on it not sure if you can quite see them we shall pan and zoom a little bit there you go. I've got to tidy them up a bit, but I should get five tracks down there. And then I could put quite a few locomotives in there as a storage area. And some coaches as well, and maybe rolling stock. But we shall come back to you in the near future there. There you go for now. And of course, well, I've got the bridge up here now, and the risers. As you may well know, there's a nice little shot where I could do a video where the trains are coming under the bridge and by this angle by here you may well see the risers I can look through the gap and I can see the trains coming through the platform area and of course by here we should have a nice little elevation by here I've seen the trains coming around the corner from the platform under the girder bridge and round the back of the engine and the good shed and by here we should get the distance view of the gap where the bridge is where the platform area is and the bridge on the right hand side And by here we should get the nice view now of the trains coming under the bridge. By here in the distance on the other side of the layout. And of course we should have a view by here of the trains as they start to rise up the incline. And also of the platform area. And by here we should have a view of the platform in the distance 
and also of the little village on the left which is the winter scene and as you may well see we got the wall by here which we got to put the brickwork on and we got the girder bridge by here I just put that there temporary for now I might well put that as a feature on you I had this little flatbed truck last week in MIB models and as you may well notice there is a smaller version here of the Flying Scotsman I may well fit it on here and give it a run round the track we shall come back to you soon with that and just by here is another flatbed wagon which I had as well at the same time and you might well notice a little small red little loco on this one I might well fix this on the little bogey wagon and we shall give them both a run around the track and I may well get a couple more of these little bogey wagons because I got a few more as you may well see little small Thomas tank engine locomotives and a couple of little additions I might fix them on the trucks and we shall have a little bit of fun with that eventually we have another little addition to the layout for you I had this around about Christmas time and I had that in a charity shop we shall put as a little feature on the layout somewhere and on the right by here the little red locomotive that by the way is a train whistle we shall have a little bit of fun with that in the future as well and here we have the little winter scene in the background with some of the cottages all lit up and this is looking through the bridge where the girder bridge is now we shall come around by the side there you go and what we shall do with this one evening soon is run a couple of trains around the end of that with the lights on and we shall see what it looks like Here we have two kits by Metcalf. They are semi-cut stonework B1 style builder sheets. Now what I plan to do with these is where you see I put the risers all along here on the front and the back of the risers I will use these builder sheets and of course all along here as well as you may well know and also what I've got by here i got two packs of these by the way is place it over here in front of these is not sure we can quite see it go a bit closer it is Dapple Kitmaster Girder Bridge now it is all in a kit form I've taken one apart from the frame downstairs already and in the near future I plan to put these together and paint them and put them in addition on the layout somewhere we shall come back to you soon with that